It was interesting to view those different scenarios on project management. As you can see, project management transcends all industries. Projects can be large or small. They can be fairly simple and straightforward or quite complex and time consuming. You can initiate them yourself or you can be given a project to complete without having much experience. After viewing the video scenarios, I hope you picked up on some of the themes that were common to all. Let's run through them to ensure that you have understanding of the key features of managing a project. Generally, there are four main characteristics of a project, regardless of its size and complexity. The first characteristic is that a project has a definite start and end date. It is a temporary undertaking within a fixed period of time, whether this is one week or six years. A project manager has to complete the project within the specified amount of time. The second key characteristic of a project is that it achieves a goal or an outcome. In other words, something is completed or achieved by the end of the project life cycle. In our examples, we saw that the endpoints were the wedding, the workplace system and the tiling of a kitchen. The third characteristic to consider is that a project provides benefit or value to the recipient. In other words, what will the recipient gain from the completed project? Finally, a project requires an allocation of resources that need to be skillfully used. These resources will vary depending on the size and complexity of the project, and all projects will, in one way or another, allocate and use resources to achieve their goals or outcomes. In addition, project management follows the distinct linear process or journey, which is known as the project management life cycle. The life cycle has four phases. The life cycle begins with initiation, which is the starting point of any project. It is usually the shortest phase, but the most important because it sets up the foundation of the project. It is in this phase that you flesh out the project objectives, success criteria and high level plan. It is also in this phase that you identify risks, stakeholders and your team. The second phase of the life cycle is planning. Planning is the primary function of any project manager and requires you to undertake a rigorous process of developing plans to ensure you achieve your project objectives. The area that you will focus on in this phase of the life cycle are scope, scheduling and costing. Phase three is project execution. This phase is about completing specific deliverables that are required to meet the scope and objectives of the project. In this phase, assessing risk and implementing strategies to reduce or mitigate risk is paramount. This phase also focuses on being an effective leader for your team and engaging your stakeholders in the execution of the project. The final phase of the project management life cycle is the closure of the project. It is in this phase that the outcomes are achieved and the benefits of the completed project are experienced by the stakeholders. The closure of a project requires you to obtain feedback from your stakeholders and your team.